Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Odyssey, of course, and uh, welcome back to another World of Tanks video. Uh, this time we got the ELCAMX, and uh, this is one of the tanks you guys actually recommended me to get right after I made my first video. And I gotta say, it was a huge pain in my ass to get it, because the tanks up until this tank sucks balls. Or, I wouldn't say they're bad tanks, but those French tanks are so mediocre and boring boring. It's kind of, they're okay at everything, but they're not really good at anything, so they're not very fun to play around with, to be honest. But this, the ELC AMX, it is just a bundle of joy. Really, the only thing bad with this tank is honestly, it's, it's, kind of bad or actually really bad turret because you have almost no gun depression uh, you have almost no range you can fire upwards either and you have almost no side to side movement either it, it's kind of like a tank destroyer almost uh, it, honestly it is a tank destroyer a small extremely quick and light armored tank destroyer that's what I would call it uh, because the the AMX has a 90 millimeter uh, gun that has 170 penetration and 240 damage on the top tier gun on this tank. And that is good enough to penetrate the armor with nice shots on almost every single tank in the game. Some tanks you're gonna have a really hard time with, but honestly, it's not many tanks. As long as you aim well, you're gonna do good damage against most tanks with this gun. And that's a huge huge plus for the tank itself because there's a lot of other small quick tanks that are extremely fun to play around with and scout with but you can't do much with those tanks when you go up against tier 5, 6, 7 or 8 or 9 uh, tier tanks even but with this gun you can actually challenge most bigger tier tanks and at least put some damage into them sure you might not be able to kill them on a one on one fight but at least you can harass them them and do a little bit of damage. So you can see here, I'm trying to shoot that M4 with auto-aim, and it's just impossible because I have to go right over the crust of the hill. I see this uh, T1 Heavy and I think, that guy, I'm gonna get him. And there, you see, the tank is so small, he shoots over me when I go over the crest. Same thing with the other tank, it tries to shoot me and just misses me. It's amazing. And the quickness is just superb in this tank. I mean, shit, you see, I'm going up a hill with 20 kilometers an hour then I can go over the crest and be back again in less than a second and unless the enemy tanks are actually aiming straight at you where you're going over the crest if you're spotted already they're they're not gonna have time to aim and shoot you it's almost impossible but here I become a little bit greedy I really want to hit this uh, t43 again uh, but I get it scared so I shoot a little bit too early I wanted to aim for the cupola but I know he has a gun that definitely gonna penetrate me because the armor in this tank is basically useless the only the only shots you're gonna bounce are are bad shots from tier five tanks or lower maybe a couple of tier six tanks can can bounce their shells as well with the, with the really bad penetration guns but overall I mean th this this tank is extremely vulnerable to artillery so you should never stand in the same position again uh, or, or for a long time so I go over the crest I put one more into that T-34 because he's the one doing the spotting for them and now the IS is moving up but luckily my teammates are actually doing well here so I can auto aim and go over and put one into him Sadly though, I do no damage at all, so I'm like, ah, oh, fucking auto-aim, god damn it, that stinks. So I'm thinking like, okay, let's go over the crest again because he's busy looking at others, let's put one in the lower plate. I was thinking about putting one in the turret first, but then I, then I remember that, yeah, the IS has pretty good turret armor, so better to put one in the lower plate instead. So my team finish him off because the reload time is immensely long on this tank, uh, on, on this 90mm gun on this tank. Uh, the reload time on the smaller guns, the 75 millimeters, I believe they are, are much, much better. I think the reload time is only like four or five seconds, uh, so you can really put a lot of hurt into the enemies with that, but honestly, it's too weak. It only has a hundred penetration, and that that's not, just not gonna, that's just not gonna make it. And I preferred not using gold ammo. As you've seen, I've had gold ammo in one of my videos, the one with the cruiser, uh, but that was because 
you, I needed it because I ended up in tier 3 and tier 4 tank battles and I have no chance of actually hitting anything. So I go over the crest again, luckily I go back again quick enough like I said before, so this T-33 misses me. I go with auto aim, I just pop over the crest and see green light, boom, 255 damage, nice, very nice indeed. And that's what I'm telling you, if you run this 90mm gun on this tank you really don't need any, any extra armor penetration. I mean, maybe you want to run two shells of uh, gold ammo, but that's about it. I would almost say it's better to use uh, run with two uh, high explosive shells instead if you want to hunt arty. But uh, word to device. At least me, like again, I, I'm no, I'm no pro. I'm, I'm not very good at World of Tanks. I'm quite new, but in my experience, uh, the ELC AMX is at its best when you are going over crests and hills, like I was doing there. Uh, if you try to run behind enemy lines, it's gonna be difficult because since the turret can't turn and uh, the tank really has to reposition, you have to reposition the entire tank, like a uh, turretless tank destroyer to actually be able to hit the enemy it's quite difficult to fight uh, any number of tanks whatsoever in close combat uh, unless you have a nice quest to hide behind after you fired your first shot uh, I, I've seen some do it very well like going up next to heavy tanks like like uh, the KVs and the Tigers that are very high tanks and then you can stand right next to the enemy tanks and pop them in the side without them being able to shoot you but for example this black Prince I would ever ne never be able to do that on because the back Black Prince is simply too low to the ground and has a pretty damn good side armor so unless if I shoot him pretty much spot on 90 degrees in the side I'm, I'm just gonna bounce it like hell it, it's gonna be really hard to penetrate a tank like that from the side so right now it's already hunting time and I'm feeling really confident so I think I even start typing here or something like that like uh, I'm coming for you now Art or some shit like that let's see I'm, I'm pretty sure this was that match I, I wrote that in. Let's see. No, nothing. Maybe I was mistaken. No, no. There, here we go. You'll see. Nice work. I'm like, thank you very much. <laughs> That's the T-34 I, I shot over the crest, I think. Coming for you, Arty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I'm looking for Arty. Sadly, uh, the VK-3601H finds him first. And as you can see, with only 280... Uh, health points, I would have easily killed him in one shot if I had HE, so that would have been really sweet. So let's look at the actual stats of the match. Okay, and let's take a look at the score screen. Monster's Bash, fuck yeah. Monster Gunner and Sharpshooter got tons of spotting bonuses. Seven enemy tanks spotted. I did 1615 damage, two kills. I got the third highest damage output of all of the tanks on my team. That's pretty good when it's a tier seven match and you're only a tier uh, five. Uh, I think I can do ev a lot better actually with this tank, even at higher tiers, to be honest, because like I said before, you got great penetration with that 90 millimeter cannon it's just that it's such a low rate of fire that's it's an issue and it's pretty bad aim time as well but overall I think I did really well I uh, definitely think I'm gonna be able to give you guys a lot more better replays with this tank because it's just a fucking joy to play around with it's amazing as usual thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day bye bye